check this out, man. It's the H and I C infamous mob deep. You know how I do it, man. And this is G4 Freestyle 101. Let's get it started. Yeah, this is what we do, man. All day, every day. Infamous mob deep. You know what I mean? H and I C G4. Never seen before. Exclusive. Hey yo, call somebody, man. Tell them to change the G4, man. We on, we on the air. Hey yo, check this out. The H and I C, the head nigga in charge, the boss, the captain, crunch dog, the Sarge on G4, PS3, your Xbox. You hear my songs on Grand Theft Auto. They got me locked in the cage, but it's ill. I'm still on your TV screen. The beats compliments of Messiah. Kids don't use drugs. Mob Deep get you higher. Yeah, it's like that. G4. All day, right here, keep it locked. You know how we do it, son. Mob D, you know what I mean? H and I C, H and I C two. Let's go. In Queensbridge, back in the days, like it was probably like around '89. You know what I mean? When I first came to the hood, Had brought me out there, cause you know that's Had hood. I was from Left Rack. You know what I mean? Different part of Queens over in Corona. You know when I first came to Queensbridge, though, it was like a whole another world over there. You know, they made me go around and battle all the rappers from the hood. I had to battle everybody, so it was kind of crazy, man. It meant a lot, you know what I mean? Those little battles and freestyles on the block, you know what I mean? Just to see where your skills is at and see if you could stand up to the to the rest of the good um, rappers from the hood, you know what I mean? That was like basic training. It gets, it gets scary when you're dealing with somebody that, you know, you got to battle somebody that's well known for having, you know, hot songs, you know what I mean? Like... Like back in Queensbridge, back in the days, I had to battle Cole Mega, you know what I'm saying? And Nas. Like, those are the last two people I had to battle in order to get down with the team. Because I had to battle everybody. So when it came to Mega and Nas, I was a little shook. I was like, yo, I don't know. I don't want to battle them, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they was known for really, really coming with it, you know what I mean? So that right there had me a little nervous. But it was all good, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it all worked out, you know what I mean? Everything... I, I, I did I did good, you know what I mean? They they came with it, they did good, so it all worked out. I think it's just like the hood, man, you know what I mean? Just that one hood got his own style, it got his own slang. Like Queensbridge brought a lot of things to the table as far as hip hop and with slang and style and like what we drink, you know what I mean, how we talk, just different just a lot of different things. The music we make, like a lot of people say it's a dark, like a Queensbridge sound to it or you know what I mean, mob deep sound to it. But, um, yeah, that's what it is, man. It's just like the style of the hood, you know what I mean? And it's so unique, it just spreads out. Everybody wants, like, yo, what's that? This is new slang. Everybody wants to know what's the new sneakers, how, how you cuff your pants at the bottom, like little things. A lot of these battle rap, freestyle rappers, they can't make an album. They don't know how to make an album, you know what I mean? They could have a good battle, like, and, and a lot of people watch it. They'll get a lot of views if it's on the internet and stuff like that. But when it comes time to make an album, it's like they can't deliver, you know what I mean? It's like a different different um, animal when you're making an album. You know? it's, it gotta be a package, it gotta be something different. Cause when you freestyling, it's just like you trying to diss people, you ranking on their clothes or how they look, and just different stuff like that. Just dissing each other back and forth, you know what I mean? And writing a chorus, you gotta think like globally almost. You got you just can't think about it. You gotta think this is music that's getting out to the world, everybody's gonna hear it. And you wanna create something that'd be that everybody can play, you know what I mean?